Hey, what's up everybody? It's a beautiful day in Northern California. We're cleaning up my shop back here and I wanna show you something. I've been doing this test for like over a year on Curdy board and uh, we're just cleaning up the shop here. Check this out. Yeah, uh, Zach and Ronnie are here. We're cleaning up this whole area. You know, this all had tools and everything. It's a mess right now, but we had a, a big rack right here that a bunch of just stuff we hadn't been using. So we're reorganizing a bunch of this stuff. And my goal is to make a module, three modules, three full-size shower modules, and we're gonna be doing classes back here. So I'm stoked. So the guys are just getting it ready. Hopefully we start framing this up today. It's really cool, can't wait to show you. But the purpose of this video is this test that I've been doing for over a year with Curdy Board. Check this out. I've had this bucket with a piece of curdy board in it for since it was last February. Why am I even doing this? Well, I did a job down in Paso Robles back in January of last year. And I'll show you that video, some video clips here in a second so you get some context. But basically, I tore out a, a curdy shower that had, had failed. And what I found was the curdy board was like literally falling apart. Like the curb had, had you know, the layers were just coming up. And anyways, I'll, I'll stop talking about it. Check out this video clip so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see how the, the water has just turned this paper on this curdy board. It's just junk. It's this really lightweight paper kind of stuff. And it's soaked all the way through it. And so water's wicking up the thin set and the stuff is just kind of falling apart. Here's some water. So anyway, so like after we had gotten back from the trip, I was just like, you know what? I want to see what happens with the curdy board. My dad was a, a high school biology teacher, so he used to always talk about the scientific method. And so I think the rules of the scientific method are, is you observe something. So I observed taking out a real life curdy shower that had been in operation for like six months and the curdy board was falling apart. So that's observation. Now, I think the second one is uh, <clears throat> you asked the question. I guess the question that I asked at the time was if curdy board's underwater, is it going to fall apart? And then you make a hypothesis. My hypothesis was that if I took a piece of curdy board and put it in a bucket for a prolonged period of time, that it's going to fall apart. So that's a hypothesis. And then obviously, you test the hypothesis. Which we've done. So I'm gonna unveil it. Uh, Zach, you want to come in here just so you can see like how this was done. So I just took took a piece of curdy board and folded it up so that it had some friction, so it would wouldn't just float to the top, so it would stay in the water. So this is basically it. And oh yeah, the last last step of the scientific method is after you get the results of the test then you form a new hypothesis and you form another test and you can just keep going with it. But anyways, this is the Curdy board under water for a little over a year. I think it was the end of January. And what is it? It's like the February 20th now. So uh, yeah, a little over a year. And so here we go. Here we are, this, this piece of Curdy board. And, you know, I've been using Curdy board for probably over 15 years now around there and one thing I, I have noticed about curdy board is if you were to leave it out and you guys probably know this too that if you leave curdy board out you know say on the side of your house or something outside it gets mold on it it gets this black mildew you can see some of the there's like these black spots which I'm pretty sure it's mold and Zach is smart right there wearing a respirator. I, I should probably have some, some, uh, what do you call it? Some PPE. Protection. Some PPE for, for the mold, but it's, it's hard to talk and do videos with it. So I think I'm okay. I think, I think with mold, you're okay as long as it's not dry and kicking up the spores. But, you know, if you know more about mold than I do, please leave a comment in the section below. And that's another part of science is, is, is the more people that get in on it, the better. 
because people just have different experiences and ideas and intuition and all that stuff and that all has value and also you never know if there's some sort of bias in a scientific test that's one of the things that we've lost you know what we call science and you know you hear a lot about I see signs in people's front yards that say we believe science is real well what does that even mean you believe science is real but science has become so biased because of most scientific tests are done by a company that's going to benefit from a particular outcome of the testing so either whether that's you know big pharma and medicine whether that's a manufacturer whether that's me maybe I just don't like the color orange who knows but but the more people that are involved in the testing sample the better so if you simply have a piece of curdy board on the side of your yard and you've noticed this mold leave a comment in the section below say yes I've experienced that too then you know it's not just me you know picking on Schluter for some reason and um, it's just better that way so let's, let's try that so anyways this is under one year a little over one year curdy board and my first observation is that you know we know that curdy boards kind of soft and crinkly but it just seems like it it's lost its shape it's kind of ragged looking and it has visible mold or mildew or fungus or whatever that black stuff is it's kind of lining everything and so what I really wanted to find out though is like if it's if it started to peel apart in layers like it did um, in that video so I'm just gonna take a corner here <laughs> yeah, and look at that so it just really easily peels off and and the surprising thing to me about how this stuff is composed or compromised or comprised I guess was the right word uh, it, it's like it's like sheets of paper like this literally looks like cardboard like if I if I you know get my finger wet put it on it it just looks like cardboard getting wet so I don't know if it's cardboard or not or paper brown paper but that's just kind of what it looks like to me and so the fleece feels peels off pretty easy let's see if the backside will do the same thing yeah so the backside same thing just peels off and I believe like like the, the waterproofing layer is like a little thin piece of plastic in here so here's the paper and it's glued to like the foam and I think there was a piece of plastic in here that was like the waterproofing or maybe that's maybe that's in this stuff here because I kind of when I was when I was taking that shower apart I was finding this like really thin film along with like a really thin layer of plastic huh yeah I don't know if that's it is that the plastic I don't know I can't even I can't even I think that's it I think yeah this is it so I just peeled off this layer I had already peeled it off I was looking for it here but that looks like just another piece of there's probably adhesive on the foam and then this paper and then I believe it is this plastic film. So this is a, a thin piece of plastic. You can like, you can see through it. And it does have a little bit of, well, it's kind of lost its stretch, but it has like a tiny bit of pliability. So I think it's just a really, really thin, thin piece of plastic. But it's com composed of layers and to have this cardboard in it that once it gets wet everything just peels apart I just don't think that's ideal I think there's, there's better ways to do it and the fact that mold really likes it like it seems like you can make make a board that is anti-mold or maybe has some kind of agent that mold doesn't like because you know these boards are getting wet especially when they're down at the base of the wall in the shower, just like in that video with, I think, most of the, the bench and the curb and everything, these things soak up water over time. I mean, 
that's that's a given. Every every one that I've ever torn out, that's happening. So if it's able to, to wick up water and has a place for mold to go, I just I don't think that's ideal. So anyways, so you know I guess I guess to be fair I should probably do this with other boards, right? Like again, not being biased just against Schluter, but maybe get some other types of boards, cement board, uh, hydro band board, the other ones. And I've done a lot of other testing on, on these boards and I'll put a, a link to that. In that video, I tested, I think I tested three different boards, test curdy board, hydro band board. I even lit them on fire for shits and giggles, but uh, I was having fun with it. So yeah, I guess to be fair, uh, I should I should do the same thing with other boards. Uh, most, I guess, yeah, <clears throat> do it with other boards and then see if they grow mold and see if they fall apart in layers like this. Uh, I highly doubt it, but um, I think to be fair, that's what I, I should do. So. This is February. You know I've been making these videos for a long time, so a year seems like a really long time, but when you got a shop where you can just do this, it's kind of easy to do. So I'll just put more water in this bucket, and I'll put maybe pick two or three different boards and put them in here, and maybe I can kind of report back. Because this, this mold started forming, this mold started forming like a month into it. Like I noticed the mold almost right away. So maybe I don't need to wait a whole year at least for the mold and I'll kind of just report back to you guys so you can see it and again also the bigger sample size we have of people testing things out the better so we have a community here leave your comments in the section below let's all share information so that we can be smarter and make better decisions um, because really I think humanity we humans depend on good scientific method so I'll leave you with that. Of course, before I go, I have to tell you that I love you. I love being your tile coach. We'll see you on the next video.